Well, it's as friendly as it can be in the circumstances, but you feel the rivalry. Well, I'm sitting here, Peter, thinking, is it possible for these two to meet under friendly circumstances? This exhibition match is likely to exhibit the same old rivalry. To me, it also has the same feel to it. And I'm pretty sure we can look forward to what will be a combative, high-intensity affair. We can't really say anything negative about this. And if it is full-on, then I'll be happy to watch that. Well, we're on the way. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Paul Pogba. He could be a real game-changer for this team, Peter. He's got the strength to hold off defenders and the technical ability to pick out a killer pass. He can also shoot with great power and accuracy. He's a real midfield dynamo, actually, capable of, of winning a tackle in his own half and then charging downfield to make something happen at the other end. Box to box. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. And through to the goalkeeper. Quadrado gets into the right position to intercept. Milik. Milik. Quadrado. Oh, that's neat. Gets it into the middle. Has a pop! I can't speak highly enough of the keeper after that save. Can't stop thinking about it. Juventus playing high up the pitch here, very much taking a front foot approach. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, both sides seem happy with the patient approach for now, still trying to have a good look at one another. Great run on the overlap here. Martinez looking to get on the end of this. And he's there to cut it out. Juventus getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Forward it goes. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Tries to get it forward quickly. It'll be a throw-in. Pogba. Into Milan. Still to register a shot on target. Pogba. Quadrado. Quadrado drives it forward. Milik. Chance! And that's been levered clear. Chiesa. Oh, that's nice. Alexandro. Chiesa provides an outlet. Well, some are shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. Stefan de Vrij. Chelhanolu. Stefan de Vrij. Skrinja. Hoists it forward. Chiesa. And that's one way to annoy his teammates.
No goals as yet. And it's played forward. Shelhanolu. Brozovic. Shelhanolu. Shelhanolu is fouled. Martinez. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Juventus going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Lukaku. He's had a go! So who's he picking out? Into Milan, get it back again. It is a corner. Celanolu plays it short. Brozovic plays it in. And the whistle goes for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Inter have been playing relatively well from what I've witnessed. Good movement and the ball retention has been quite strong and it's led to a few chances. It's just that cutting edge that's lacking at the moment and it's fixable. So they head in, no further forward. The score here still 0-0. And the game has already resumed here. 0-0 then, and we're back on the way. Martina has a pop! It's in! Well, well, one or two others were maybe a tad slow at restarting this game, then up steps a big character who was simply switched on and bright, and he sparked another advantage for his team at an important stage. It all goes well. Inter are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Into Milan, take the lead. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half time, it's worked a treat. Locatelli. Celhanolu. Forward it goes. Martinez. And it's Lukaku. Just brushed off the ball there. Everything they would have spoken about in that dressing room during the break has a greater chance of happening thanks to the early goal. It's the perfect platform now to go on and, and try to win it. Pogba. Locatelli. Milik. Oh, that's a fine challenge. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Quadrado. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this one safe. Now, a chance to break. 
And here's Chalhanolu. Chalhanolu goes for the cross. Lukaku really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Oh, a good challenge, stood up well against his man. Skriniar into Milan have made a great start to the second half and the score is 1-0. Tries to get it forward quickly. Lobs it in gently. Heads it! Oh, and that should have been two. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. And it's Alexandro. Chiesa shoots! Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Di Maria. Juventus are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And back to base. Bonucci drives it forward. Look, their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. He's tried one. Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Telly into Milan just have to run down the clock Juventus don't have many options and time is running out whipped in and the referee brings it to a close terrific contest it really might have tipped either way the margins were tiny just a goal in it but that was enough well, how will we look back on that? Inter made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style, it's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.